this particular image struck me not only because of its early date, this particular image was done in, in 1853, uh, less than 15 years after the uh, introduction, the invention of photographic medium, but also because of its size. Most 19th century photographs that you look at are, are quite small, uh, and this is a full plate daguerreotype that has been encased in this gilded frame. Obviously, a tremendous amount of care has gone into um, constructing this image. But this would not have been something that would have been bought for next to nothing. Somebody would have invested a, a certain amount of money and, and that the photographer has gone to extraordinary lengths to try to create some type of souvenir maybe, uh, document that speaks to these tourists' experience at this very special American landmark, Niagara Falls. Well, when I saw it the first time, it of course reminded me of uh, snapshots that we all take of family members uh, on vacation at scenic landmarks, whether it be Yosemite, Yellowstone, here the example being Niagara Falls. But as I, as I looked at it more and more, it was obvious that this was a very carefully constructed image that was not simply uh, spontaneously done, uh, that it followed certain pictorial traditions in terms of the visual uh, iconography of Niagara Falls, and that uh, there was nothing spontaneous at all about it.